Hello students, welcome to my channel Probir Banerjee's English Class Dhan Mantra and uh, welcome to my quiz number 6 of Kon Banerga Vidya Puti series under the heading of Adda Giri. Before we get entry and all set for the quiz series uh, 6, I would like to mention you especially who are new viewers and who are watching my channel for the first time to please subscribe this channel for your benefits and also inspire me to give you the most in coming days. Today we have descriptive quiz over here. Have you ever heard about descriptive quiz? No, never. But here I am bringing such descriptive quiz for the first time. This descriptive quiz will help you definitely and give you an idea how to start a descriptive paragraph and how to conclude a paragraph. It's important to know actually how to improve your writing skill on descriptive English. And also it helps to identify the sequences of big rearrangement of sentences in exams like bank view. Okay, so now no more talk, maintain peace and get set, go to the quiz. See here on your screen, a topic is given importance of travel. And in the direction, it is asked to arrange the three sections. Three sections will come later in their proper sequence or order. First, you need to take introduction part of the topic. Second, you have to take middle paragraph and third, you take conclusion part. So first intro, then middle paragraph and last conclusion part. In exam like bank view, so it will help you how to make rearrangement, big rearrangement in the exams. Apart from that, here in this descriptive part, you can also learn how to improve your skill in writing a paragraph using introduction part and conclusion part. So these are the tricks and trips what I am giving you. You just go through the three sections and sort it out according to their order. Okay. Before you start playing your quiz, you will have to take some consideration. Number one, in introduction part, your introduction must comprise at least three WH words, what, which, how, etc. Number two, Reasons, benefits, significance, prediction, and if statistics are there, you will have to take those. And number three, once experience, study, and suggestions will come in the conclude part. Thank you. In section one, there are numerous benefits to traveling if we think about it. First of all, we get chance to meet new people. When you meet new people, you get the opportunity to make new friends. Section number two, similar to this benefit, Traveling makes it easier to understand people. We will learn how other people speak, live and more. And section number three, travel means to go one place to another. There are a lot of reasons to travel. Some people travel for fun, while some do it for education or business reasons. In order to travel, one must get an idea of their financial strength and then proceed. Remember, one minute time. Your time starts now. Your time is up. Now you can see your answer. Here you can watch your answer. Sequence will be 3, 1, 2. Section 3 will come first as your intro part. Middle part will come sequence number, uh, section number 1. So 3, 1, 2 will be your answer. Now the logic behind this. Logic behind the answer is first you need to apply at least three WH words in your intro part. What is travel? This is first WH. What are the reasons for traveling? The second WH word. 
Third is what is the main criteria one needs to take before traveling. So these are the three WH words will come in the intro part. Okay. Your section number three is your first intro part. Now section two middle part will come how any more reasons to travel any more reasons. So here is given in the section number one. There are numerous benefits to traveling. There are numerous reasons to traveling. So any more reasons you can find out your answer. One will come next middle para. And the third will be the word benefit in sentence number one. Sentence number one, one word is there. There are numerous benefits and that is interrelated in the conclusion part. That is sequence number two, section number two. Similar to this benefit, your benefit is also given. So sentence one is connecting sentence two. So the word benefit in sentence number one further connecting the sentence number two similar to this benefit. These interrelated sentences are called correlative sentences. Okay, all done. So we will go to the next topic. Next topic is uh, importance of flow of money for an economy. And you need to follow the same sequence. Intro will come first, then conclusion will come last and middle para will be there. And uh, as far as intro is concerned, you will have to use uh, WH words and in conclusion can be your suggestion. Okay, here comes your three sections. In section number one, money is the lifeblood of a modern economy. Its circular flow gives a clear picture whether the economy is working smoothly or not. Section number two, the circular flow of money is of immense significance for starting the functioning. And uh, section number three, the study helps government in formulating policy measures. Your time starts now. Your time is up. Here is your answer. Sequence will be one, two, three. Se uh, section one will come first. Section two will be your middle paragraph. And section three will be your conclusion. That is your suggestion. Conclusion means your suggestion. Okay. So we will go to the next topic. Next topic is rising in oil prices affected Indian economy. Here comes your three sections. Since none of the major oil producing nations in the world is likely to increase the supply of oil, experts predict price of oil may touch $120 per barrel by 2023. See, section number two. The prices of oil have started going through the roof. In the past few years, the prices of oil have a steady downturn. And in section number three, the reasons are many why rising of oil prices are mentioned as one of the main threats to the Indian economy. Your time starts now. In intro, you will use WH. Then conclusion can be your suggestion and the middle para, para will be the rest one.
time is up here is your answer answer sequence is 213 see section number 2 will come first as your intro where you can apply wh and section number 1 will be your middle paragraph and the conclusion can be someone's suggestion that is sentence number yeah section number 3 okay now we'll go to the next topic Dengue, the growing menace. Dengue, the growing fear. Okay. Your sections are coming here. In section number one, Dengue is specially going to inadequate water supply, poor solid waste management, and with lack of proven antiviral therapy. Number two. Dengue is one of the most rapidly spreading mosquito-borne viral diseases in the world. An estimated 50 million dengue infections occur annually and about 2.5 billion people live in dengue endemic areas. And in section number 3, there is a clear seasonal trend in Kolkata with majority of the cases during post-monsoon season, especially in the month of September and onwards due to heavy burden of this disease it is important to initiate feasible strategies to control and eradicate the dengue fever these are the three sections and you will have to rearrange this in intro part you can always use your wh and then in the conclusion can be your suggestion and the middle part will be your the rest sentence okay your time starts now Time is up. Here is your answer. Answer sequence is 213. Section number 2 will come first as your intro because Dengue is one of the one of the always comes in the intro part. Okay. And second sentence will go uh, section number 1 and the conclusion part is section number 3. Now next topic we will take your topic is given importance of online education this is the most important topic trend is going on so importance of online education here comes your three sections in section number one education is broadly diverse today compared to the 1960s because of the progressions teaching methods techniques and unique inventions section number two e-learning means online learning E-learning allows to run with global trends to connect the world. We need to take e-learning. E-learning allows to run with global trends, less time consuming and more errorless and comfortable for learners. And section number three, it is given education is an integral part of people's lives. It can either make them or break them. Nice proverb is given. It can either make them or break them. Okay. Your time starts now.
your time is up here is your answer answer sequence is 312 your introduction part will come 3 because it can either make them or break them this is a nice proverb you can begin your introduction part with using a proverb okay section number 1 will be your middle part education is interrelated to another education part that is sentence number 1 and the final conclusion part will go the rest one e learning now the topic is given on e learning so finally living education and come to the e learning part so e learning will be your conclusion part e learning allows to run with global trends less time consuming and more errorless and comfortable for learners okay this much for today again i am telling you those who are watching my channel for the past time please subscribe my channel for your benefits and also inspire me to give you the most in coming days thank you so much for being here with me next we will come with another episode thank you